Friends, Greg Newmaster coming at you again with another action figure review. Today I have Star Wars The Vintage Collection, Luke Skywalker and Grogu Deluxe figure from the Book of Boba Fett. If you like the video, please like and subscribe. Um, I've been dying for this figure. Uh, Luke's my favorite character, but specifically for the articulation. Uh, they have not nailed the sculpt and articulation of a Luke Skywalker figure in the Vintage Collection yet. It's just, um, if you look at the Imperial Light Cruiser Luke, uh, love the cape, love the head sculpt, but they're using, they used old pieces from uh, the original Vintage Collection figure. His, his torso looks very small and narrow. And he has pear-shaped hips, and of course, they have the terrible Y joints versus the T joints on the ball, which I just, I can't stand. Um, so I've been searching desperately for the perfect Luke Skywalker figure. And this one, I believe, may come pretty close. So let's bust this baby open and check it out. Um, Here's the box. You don't get the pill, but they are going to do one on the card back. Just Luke. There's the back of the box. There's the bottom. There's the side. And there is the side. So this is misleading. You don't get this red carpet. You don't get this white carpet. Um, you only get this stuff. <laughs> so uh, I, I would think that because it's put in the picture there, but... You know, this is the disadvantage of not being able to see what you get. So I'm going to pull this out. There's our wax bag of goodies. Um, we'll see what's in there. And let's pull this baby out and get a good look at him. And, oh, I got to say, he looks, he looks great. Uh, the sculpt looks fantastic. Um, the head sculpt is not any different than the Imperial Light Cruiser Luke or Return of the Jedi version. Uh, here, here is the Return of the Jedi version. And it's the same head sculpt, just blonde hair. Uh, and the different cloak, obviously. Uh, but he looks great. And... Let's, there's the side of the head, just beautiful. Ah, uh, what a time to be alive and collect action figures. I gotta say that. So let's get a good look at the head and the articulation, because that's what I got this baby for. Uh, so that's a new thing. Uh, we got the double ball, uh, barbell ball joint on the neck. So two points of articulation. So... Uh, it was always on a single joint, uh, like so. So now we have the barbell, which uh, gives us better range of motion. You can get him into some really dynamic looking poses, do all sorts of fun stuff. Uh, the shoulders go up that high. Uh, we got the bend in the elbow. Uh, we got the vertical... Uh, wrist joints versus the horizontal ones full rotation in the hinges on the wrists uh, We get the black glove uh, on his right hand on our left side and Let's see. Oh And the finally praise God They did it. They gave him the T joints These are the perfect hip joints uh, for an action figure and finally, no more, no more awkward. See, that's what happens when I kick his leg up with a Y joint. Kicks out into a Y. When you do the T joint, it goes straight up or to the side with the straddle. So that's, <laughs> that's everything I always wanted. We got torso articulation, which is fantastic. Um, this is the second time that the torso has been on a ball joint with a Luke figure. The other one being from uh, The Last Jedi, uh, which is great. So we have, um, we go more than 90 degrees with elbow joints, so you don't need the double jointed elbows. Uh, what else? We go more than 90 degrees with the knee, 
So you don't really need the double jointed knees. We get the hinge in the ankles and we got pivot. So, I mean, this is perfect. This is everything I would want out of a Luke Skywalker figure. It's just put him in this outfit, <laughs> like have the full tunic with the, with his belt and uh, where he can hold his lightsaber and just just this cloth right here that's all we need to make this perfect i might i might rip this piece off and just put it on this figure and then i'll have the luke skywalker figure i've always wanted and he would be perfect but in terms of articulation this figure is magnificent um let's see what we get so this looks like an invisible stand to demonstrate him using the force with the frogs and what other accessories do we get with this? Holy cow, that's a lot of frogs. Um, so we get a bunch of frogs and you can port them on to this thing like so. So that that's kind of fun. Um, even though, you know, they're they're trying to <laughs> Trying to milk us a little bit, nickel and dime us with the, these deluxe figures. Even though they're, they're not that much deluxe, you just get a few more accessories, but that's fine. But you can do that, and you can have Luke use the Force, like so. Uh, what else do we get? Oh, we get Baby Yoda, Grogu, in uh, the classic Empire Strikes Back yoda backpack where he carried him around so that's fun and we can pull this apart like so and put that on like that and the straps on and you can recreate that scene um, from the Book of Boba Fett. I mean, honestly, to me, the best the best parts of the Book of Boba Fett were the Luke Skywalker, Grogu, Mandalorian episodes. And I, I think a lot of people felt that same way. Uh, you get uh, the newer style of the lightsaber. Um, it doesn't have the ignition of uh, towards the blade. So here's... Um, Here's the uh, lightsaber they were using for years. And you can just see like an ignition effect uh, right where the uh, emitter hilt is. Now it's just straight and we have a, it's the blade is thinner and it's green. Which is fine, that, that was the same way with the Imperial Light Cruiser Luke. Um, so, um. I, I was a fan of the the classic lightsaber. I, I thought it, I thought this version looked just fine, but this is this is really nice too. It's um sleek. The uh, the hilt looks a little bit skinnier. Uh, it's painted nicely. Uh, here's the Imperial light cruiser version, which looks a little bit more weathered, uh, a little more movie accurate uh, around the black part there. Uh, and then uh, his hand is in a normal shape versus like that trigger finger shape that uh, the Return of the Jedi version one had. He always has like a trigger finger, like if he's going to hold a blaster. Um, so what else do we have? And yeah, I see the Imperial Light Cruiser had that same hand sculpt as well. Uh, he has like a trigger finger out. What else? Uh, it comes with Yoda's lightsaber. Um, because Luke offers Grogu, uh, the lightsaber if he, um, chooses to stay and train as a Jedi. There's a unignited version, nice and small. Sorry, my fat giant fingers are just so big for this three and three quarter scale. Uh, there's Luke's unignited lightsaber. Uh, there's a port there, but there's nowhere to, to port his lightsaber. So you don't have that option, unfortunately. Uh, you also get the Beskar chainmail shirt, which looks really nice. It's flat, just like a flat piece of thin plastic. So it's not like you could put it on Grogu. Uh, and here is the gift uh, in the shape of Yoda's ears that Mando gave to Grogu. And then you get a bunch of 
frogs, which, um, I don't know, you get one, two, three, four of them, which is a little bit excessive and unnecessary, but it's a deluxe figure. Um, so just comparing, I mean, look at the shape of him. Uh, his torso looks so narrow, where they did a really great job uh, making it more proportionate. And I hope they release one more uh, Luke figure uh, with this articulation in the style of Return of the Jedi. Because uh, this is just awesome. Um, I also have um, an old belt here from the first vintage collection Luke uh, that I had. I wonder if that this will fit around him, like his utility belt. And that will make him look more like uh, Jedi Luke. And it does. It, it fits nicely. Um, so you can sort of have fun with that if you have that old um, accessory. Anyhow, I love this figure. Luke Skywalker is my all-time favorite character in Star Wars. Uh, if you like the video, please like and subscribe. Uh, Star Wars The Vintage Collection, Deluxe, Luke Skywalker, and Grogu from the Book of Boba Fett. God bless you all. Peace.